everyone, it's Desiree. Day seven of the 2018 Christmas series. And for this video, I am going to feature Avery L. This is one of their new stamps that they just released this season. And I'm also gonna use the die. And what's great is one die covers both of those snowflakes, which I think is ingenious. Um, who knew you could do that? So this stamp set is great. It's very basic, um, two images, but lots of sentiments. They can be tags. They don't have to be tags. Of course, I'm going to make tags. So that little circle will never be disconnected, but it can be. Um, so you can make cards, you can make ornaments, you can make tags with this. It, it truly is, um, very versatile. So I love snowflakes. I know I've said it before. I hate snow, but I love snowflakes when it comes to cards, um, and snowmen. I know I love everything that snow creates except driving in it. I know lots of embossing. We're going to go here. I am actually in this video going to create, I believe eight tags. Um, and it didn't, it took hardly any time at all. And I did it in a step process. So the first thing that I did, I chose my cardstock. So I went with blues, grays, and a red. I then, once that was chosen, I then set my stamps in my stamp platform, like I'm doing here. And I just am going to town. I'm stamping with Versamark inks. There's one that I do use my Versafine because I do want a black outline. Um, I'm using clear embossing powders. I'm using silvers. I'm using my gold sparkle. Um, now all of the, um, embossing powders that I am using are by recollections. Um, I'm just trying to think if there was one that was not, but they are, I mean, I have a silver tinsel. I have the, uh, gold sparkle. I have the opaque sparkle. I'm using my gold. I think I have a champagne that I'm using. So all kinds of colors. And again, everything's going to be listed down below. So then I got smart and figured, okay, I'll put two snowflakes <laughs> on one piece of cardstock. Didn't think of that before. So again, you know, we learn as we go, you know, before you were watching me stamp one at a time. So from each of these colors, so I have a light and a dark gray, the red and the blue, I have two of each. So that's how with four colors, I have eight and you can just see all the different looks that I'm getting. I put some gold with the gray, didn't have to be silver. I put some black with the red. It didn't have to be gold. It didn't have to be clear. You know, we can do, there's the black onto the red. I think it's striking. I love red, gold, silver, and black for Christmas. It's, it's one of my, that is my first go-to look for Christmas. My second actually is like a, a pool color, a navy color, and then a gold. That's my next combination that I absolutely love. Do I love the traditional? Absolutely. I love, but it's got to be the deep hunter green. It's got to be the deep cherry cobbler red, um, and then the gold and the silvers and, and the deep purples um, and all of that. So you can see as I'm heat setting all of these colors, the different looks that I'm getting, some have the glitter sparkle. Some are just the regular embossing powder. Um, again, champagne, silver, gold, gold sparkle, um, opaque silver tinsel. These are all the colors that I've used. And you can see this one die is going to fit on each of these stamped images, even though some have a round center, some of them have a square. Now for the square center, what we want to make sure is that you're putting it on a flat side. You can see that one there, second from the left, the red is not. So we should know where we're placing our dies. Yep, mm -hmm. just making sure. And there's my second piece. So I chose my craft card stock. My favorite craft card stock is by Recollections. I love the Desert Storm Nina, but 
when I'm looking for a true craft cardstock, I want the paper bag look. And Recollections has the best. Um, so I am a fan of theirs. So I got those stamped up using the to and the from. And now I'm just setting up, separating the squares from the circles. And you can see I've got one that's kind of a oblong diamond. And that's okay. So now I'm choosing the other sentiments. I have let it snow. I'm going to be using... Now while I'm using these, I'm also going to do more embossing sometimes. Okay, so I'm either going to use my white, and again, this is my recollection, they call it snow, um, or I'm going to use just the Versamark ink and clear. Because remember, when we use our Versamark ink on cardstock, and if we do use, or just let it dry, or use a clear embossing powder, it goes darker. You'll have a darker shade of that statement or image that you've stamped. So for those two, I chose um, to use my white embossing powder. So now I'm going to come in with my other sentiments. And this one says, peace, love, and joy. So that one's just gonna sit a little crooked and I'm okay with it. Again, it's a tag, it's all right. Um, so for this one, I did use for the red, I used my clear embossing powders and I have those lined up above me because at this point I had so many, I'm like, okay, we're just gonna let them be in front of me. So you're gonna see my arms going across. So again, I chose white, but again, for the red one, I just went with the Versamark ink and clear embossing powder. My next sentiment that I'm using here is happy holidays. Again, we're gonna go in with the white and I believe we're going to go in with the clear again. This one here says no peeking. I love putting those on my tags. I like sarcasm. Can you tell? It's just, yeah, it, it makes me giggle. And then I went back for one more with let it snow. So again, even though I went with the glitters um, for some of my embossing powders, I went for, of course, the metallics. It doesn't mean your sentiment has to be the same thing. You can make it separate. The no peaking is on a gray cardstock. It's got silver embossing. I chose it to be white. I want it to stand out and it's okay. For the happy holidays, it's a darker charcoal. It's got a gold glitter. I chose it to be clear and just have the impression from the Versamark ink. Same thing with the two um, that are in front of you as well. I just wanted to have the darker tone from the Versamark ink. So just know you can do that. Okay. Sometimes, um, you know, you don't have to have, it, it's okay. Again, just because you have that champagne or silver or gold embossing powder means your sentiment has to be gold, silver, or champagne as well. Um, you, you can do different things when it comes to these. So when it came to this whole process, the part that took the longest was making my tassels. That was just, excuse the thumb. There's, you're going to see a couple more videos with that bad, bad injury that I did to my thumb. And it had nothing to do with my craft room. Nope, this was outside of the craft room. Um, but it's really bad. That's just got to sit there for a while. So I apologize. Um, it's horrible looking and but I just need to have that many band-aids on it. When I chose my tassels, I chose some organza ribbon and I get mine from Paper Mart. I think it is the best value for all the colors that they have available. And I use different Baker's twine, which again, I get from Paper Mart, um, or my hemp cord. Um, I'm a huge fan of my hemp cord. I love my hemp cord. I was upset with that one that I just showed there with the blue one. I cut the tassels too short. Um, again, I do like long tassels um, that come off of my cards. Now, the opening for these tags is a little smaller than the one uh, in I, that I showed in a previous video. So you do have to pull on each ending just to tighten it up onto the ornament. I am not gluing 
these two pieces together, the craft and the embossed uh, raised piece. I am just letting the tassel secure them so that they can be twisted apart. Um, if somebody does want to remove the to and from, if I got carried away with what I was writing, they could just cut that away and still have the embossed image if they want to hang it on their tree um, or do something else with it you know, maybe pay it forward and give it to somebody else. Um, they can certainly do that as well. So lots of options. Again, just because it's a tag doesn't mean that it's not unique. Doesn't mean that it's not a piece of art. It doesn't mean that you did not take the time to create it. So again, this is what you can do from a simple stamp and a simple die you can have a lot of fun, dig into your stash, start using some of the items that we are finding. Okay, that was me. I was pushing that off onto everybody else. But this is what I'm able to do after digging. I've got one more corner. Um, so these were a lot of fun. Again, the part that took the most time was creating my tassels. So again, whether they're ornaments, whether you want to put them on a card as a gift, whether you want to give these as a gift, every year... My sister expects a very large box from me for Christmas of tags that I made. So I told her to stay away from my videos so that she doesn't see them. But every year, that's, that's one of the things that she asks for. She wants all kinds of tags um, so that she can put them on her gifts when she wraps. So again, they can be a gift for somebody. All the products that I used in this video, of course, will be linked down below. And as always, if I should forget something, please let me know and I'll make sure you get that link. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below as well. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I do try to answer each and every comment that is provided as long as I can and as long as I see them. So keep that in mind. Sometimes I see them, but I can't answer. So that doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. Remember what is most important. Again, we're back to those two things again. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, but by all means, subscribe. Love to have you here as part of the community, just so I can show you some tips and tricks and a few techniques that have worked for me. I'm always changing something. But what is absolutely most important to me every day, always be creative.